In this getting started video, we will create a simple C++ Hello World application using RTIS Connects DDS7. Um, in order to do that, we will start from a basic ideal file, uh, which is the same file used by RTIS Shapes Demo. So we can use this file to generate uh, example source code uh, by going to the code generator. So in the utilities tab of the launcher, we have RTIS code generator with its uh, graphical user interface. And we can load the IDL as an input. So we have here shape IDL. And then we want to create uh, type files, make files, and also example files using the uh, C++ 11 language and uh, the installed platform. So running the code generator um, will produce some files, uh, which includes support code. Uh, it includes make files, which in this case on Windows, uh, project files for Visual Studio, and also example code for uh, some basic uh, publishers and subscribers that you can run um, to publish some shape type samples and subscribe to them. Uh, so let's run everything and we can use Visual Studio to run everything directly. We can just build it and run it from uh, Visual Studio. Um, and those of you on Linux, don't worry about it. The Linux part uh, will also uh, be addressed. Okay, so um, we're still waiting for Windows to build everything. Let's run uh, the publisher first. So control F5, running the publisher. Now the publisher is gonna write some samples. The example code uh, will populate these samples with some values. We're not gonna go um, too in depth on the code. Uh, the only thing that we wanna see here is that it works, that we have communication from one side to the other. And now that we've started the subscriber, uh, we can see that samples are received. We have these values here um, that are received by the subscriber. Okay, so this covers the window side. Uh, let's not neglect Linux and, and move there to see how it works doing the same thing from the console. So I have a Windows, uh, I have a Linux set up here. Now on Linux, if you wanna run the code generator from the console, the first thing you need to do is to set uh, some environment variables, um, including NDDS home. Uh, thankfully, there is a, an easier way to do that uh, by just going to the installation path of your Connext uh, 7, for example, resource, scripts, and then there are some uh, set environment uh, scripts here, for example, RTI set env for the platform that is installed. And now we can run the code generator. So running the code generator from the command line is almost as easy as doing it from the graphical interface. Um, RTI DDS gen, we want to disable the preprocessor um, language, C++11, example code, uh, which again includes type files, make files, and uh, publisher and subscriber examples. And we need the platform here, which is above. Linux 4, GCC 7.3.0, and finally the IDL itself. So similarly, we see type support code, uh, we see a make file for Linux, and uh, publisher and subscriber code, which does the same thing as on Windows. So let's run make here, and we will need to run this uh, set env on the other console uh, because we will start a publisher there and a subscriber on the other side. Uh, okay, now that the build is done, uh, we will have an objects folder being created and this is where the executables will be. So let's run objects uh, shape publisher on one side. Uh, it started writing samples and then on the other side, same thing, objects shape subscriber. Okay, so here uh, again we have the subscriber receiving the samples and this uh, concludes the Linux example which in turn uh, concludes our getting started guide.